Nothing says summer quite like a splice ice cream. So what we've done is we've created the splice slice so you can enjoy it all year round. But we're gonna do our base first. So I've just got 300 mils of thickened cream and a whole can of coconut condensed milk. And we're just gonna whip that until it's nice and thick and then layer it in. So this has just been lined with cling film. It's just gonna make it easier when we take it out of the pan once it's frozen. So if we go a cup and a bit, you could be exact about it, but you know, it's a cup and a bit and then just spread that evenly using a pellet knife. So we're gonna freeze that for a couple of hours until it's nice and firm and we can put another layer on and just keep the other mixture in the fridge until we're ready for it. So now for our lime layer, we're just gonna get some caster sugar into a saucepan with some fresh pineapple juice. Just get that over medium heat and stir it until it's dissolved. And so once this is dissolved, just get it off the heat and let it cool down a bit. So into our food processor, we're gonna make that green layer. And so we're not using food coloring, I'm gonna use some kiwi fruit. So I'm just gonna chop off the sides of the kiwi, just so we're not using that, that hard inner core. That's not what you wanna use, so just get rid of that and into the food processor. And now I've got five limes. I'm gonna first zest them all. Seems like a lot of zest, but we are gonna strain the mixture afterwards. And straight into the food processor with the kiwi and then take all the limes and give them a good roll pressing down on them and that's going to release all the juices in the lime and make them a lot easier to juice. So we'll halve all of these. So we need about three quarters of a cup of lime juice. These limes are really good in giving off a lot of juice so just make sure if you don't have very juicy limes you're probably going to have to bulk it up a little bit. And just that cool pineapple mixture and then blitz that until it's nice and finely chopped. Okay, and we're just going to strain that mixture. You've got this great luminescent green colour and there's no food colouring or anything like that. And so we've got that frozen cream layer here, nice and solid, so we can pour over our lime green layer. So just go directly on top. And we're gonna get that into the freezer for another few hours until that's set, so we can go on to our final layer. And that's now frozen solid. So we've just got that remaining half of the cream mixture, and we're just gonna go on top of that lime and just use that palette knife to spread it all over. And for the final time, back into the freezer. So that's now all frozen. So we're gonna put our wafer layer on the top to make our kind of sandwiches, but you are gonna to have to trim the wafers down a little bit depending on the size of your tray. And so what I've got here is if you just take a fork, just to kind of ruffle these edges a bit so the wafers can adhere to the ice cream a bit more, and then just take all the wafers and I'm gonna press them into the ice cream layer. And I'm gonna pop that into the freezer until I'm ready to use them. Out of the freezer, use that cling film you've got to kind of help you edge it out of the container. Then I'm just gonna get a bit of baking paper and put that over the top and carefully flip over the whole thing. What you'll see, these wafers have created perfect lines for us to cut into little sandwiches. And what I'm gonna do is take each one, flip it over and then top it with another wafer. If you want, you could put those back in the freezer to enjoy when you're ready, but they're good to go now and pretty delicious. The Splice Slice.